The Rolex Fastnet race is an iconic race. It's tactically and strategically challenging to the crew. It has its uh, very dangerous moments, and it has its very frustrating moments. And that's the reason we're here. The difficult aspect of the Rolex Fastnet race really is you can never really relax. The Rolex Fastnet race is one of those ocean classics that everyone has on their list to do. And it's contagious. You know, once you've done one, you want to do it again. They keep coming back because it is a, it's a personal challenge. With 90 years of history, the Rolex Fastnet race has become a legend in international sport and one of the world's great offshore races. The 2015 edition of this biennial race shows every sign of living up to its reputation. The event was filled within an astonishing 24 minutes with a record fleet of around 390 yachts from over 25 countries. The Rolex Fastnet race course is fabled. The 603 nautical mile course takes the fleet from Cowes on the Isle of Wight, around the Fastnet Rock off the southwest coast of Ireland and back to the finish off Plymouth. It is a complete challenge, and when the British Isles weather delivers the conditions typical of the time of year, it is a true test of human endeavour. Like all great ocean races, the Rolex Fastnet race has an iconic landmark. The Fastnet Rock, located on the southern tip of Ireland, is an emotive sight for any sailor. Leading the fleet, the rapid multi-hulls and the maxi monohulls will set the pace, the latter with the goal of claiming line honours and challenging the monohull race record set in 2011 by Abu Dhabi in a time of 42 hours, 39 minutes. Favourites for the monohull line honours include newcomer Jim Clark's 100-foot Comanche, up against former race record holder Leopard and fellow American George David with the new 88-foot Rambler. Potentially, overall race victory on IRC handicap can be claimed by anyone. In 2013, Pascal and Alexis Loison on night and day became the first double-handed crew to win the Rolex Fastnet race outright. The Loisons returned this year, hoping but not expecting to repeat that triumph. The 46th Rolex Fastnet race, organised by the Royal Ocean Racing Club, which also enjoys its 90th anniversary this year, starts from Cowes on Sunday the 16th of August. The starting signals will be given from the battlements of the Royal Yacht Squadron, another club with something to celebrate. 2015 is its bicentenary. Competing in the Rolex Fastnet means different things to the more than 4,000 sailors taking part. For some, it's a once-in-a-lifetime personal challenge. For others, it's part of a much bigger picture, part of a lifetime of sailing. Whatever the reason, it is never just another race.